Freaky looking. peeps and welcome to another episode of our haunted travels i am your host sean donnelly and i'm your co-host marianne donnelly tonight in this video we are reviewing the saint augustine lighthouse dark of the moon ghost tour and an investigation but before we get started on that if you are into the paranormal history and forensic type videos you are in the right spot Tell them what they need to do, Mary. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then ding that little bell so that you'll hear about us next time we put something out. That's right. Now that she started saying that, I'm going to add to it a little bit. Ooh. If this is the kind of video that you like and you think others would like it too, share it out and let people know about Panic D videos. All right. You almost got Borisy there. Did I? You almost did. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's talk about our topic tonight. Okay, so about our topic tonight. <laughs> like I said, we are talking about the ghost tour. Well, they called it a ghost tour. It was more like a ghost hunt, basically. It was kind of a com it was kind a of a combo. Hunt. They did do, give you the little bit of the history part, which is the tour part, mm -hmm. uh, and then they let you go up in the lighthouse and they roam turn the grounds loose. to turn you loose for a little while. Yeah, that's right. It was very awesome. First one we've ever been on, that's right. ever. That's right. It was the very first. That started it all. Got us hooked. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. My fault. Sorry. Your fault. <laughs> But they also do uh, some private tours now as well, and so you could uh, contact them to get a private tour as well. Which I would like to do. Next time. Next time we're down there. That's right. Can you imagine having that every time we go to ourselves? Yeah, but every time we go, do something a little bit more. So this time That's when right. we go well, back. Well, next time we'll be private. We'll That's probably, right. I really have to save my change for that one. You might have to. I don't know Might how much their private tours are. You have to talk to them personally about that. But um, the ghost tours and the investigation, they're fairly, they're very reasonable. Um, should I give the prices? Well, we'll why don't we do that open. towards the end? Okay. Okay. Um, let's start a little bit, like you said, about the tour. I remember when we went, we kind of like didn't know what was going on because we had no clue. Okay. But you meet behind... And, and this could have changed because this was have. back in 2010, so right. it was nine years ago. Yeah. Um, but you met behind the gift shop. Gift shop. And there yeah, wasn't really any like sign or any information. After the gift shop closes, when it starts. Right. There wasn't yeah. any information on like the tickets or anything that said, "Hey, by the way, you have to go around behind." So we were just kind of standing yeah, out front, around. like looking around. And we're like, I don't know, like the doors are all locked and. I don't even yeah. know why. I don't remember why we even went around. Or maybe we saw somebody else who was walking around back. We could have. And and so we ended up going in the back, yeah. and that's where we were supposed to meet. Not that we're knocking the lighthouse or anything. It was just kind of like, okay, where, where do we go? What do we do? You know, that kind of thing. Right. So I don't know if it was new at that point. Maybe they hadn't got all the kinks worked out or anything. But um, that part of it, yeah. we did have a little and It was. <laughs> and that, that kind of tells you a little bit. It was, it was real laid back. Right. You know, it was real relaxed, laid back, you know, that kind of thing. The tour, uh, once it got started, they, like you said, they take you through the tour. You go through the keeper's house. Um, you go around the grounds and they tell you a couple of things. And then I didn't go up in the tower. But right. they did a tour up in the tower? They did the way up to up the tower. They did talk to us a little bit as we went up and you know, then they let us walk around on the outside and then they said, Okay, we're gonna go. You guys are free to do yeah, whatever you free want. Free to now. do whatever you want. And then you get just basically roam the ground. Right. 
Unfortunately, at the time, again, I keep saying, we didn't know what we were doing. <laughs> Like, okay, And this whatever. video is just going to prove that beyond belief. <laughs> That's right. So we have some clips we'd like to show you. First of all, when they turn the lights off at that location, and the only thing that's on is that light on top of that lighthouse. Mm -hmm. Because it's still an active lighthouse. Yes. Okay. Um, so they can't turn the beacon off. No. That would be bad. That would be very bad. <laughs> um, but it's dark. Yeah, it it's, gets real dark real dark. fast. We'll show you a clip right here. Watch it. Yeah. So you can see it, it's it's like boop, pitch black dark. Yeah, it is. Speaking of darkness, <laughs> we've said this a couple times in other videos, but... Uh, we had a little night vision camera a toy, toy with it us. It was actually a toy. I bought it from a toy company for kids. Yeah. So you, you see throughout this this video little night vision cl clips. They're from that little toy thing. But luckily we had that because you didn't I have a have flashlight. Been, I would have been in deep, deep trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a, here's a tip, folks. If you ever go on a ghost tour or ghost hunt, have a little flashlight in your pocket because you never know, A, when you're going to need it, <laughs> B, when you're going to need it to, like, come down out of a dark lighthouse, okay? Or what I do sometimes, I carry one with me, is I, I help, you know, others with it. You know, like even on a walking tour in the city or whatever, you shine it on the curb or something so people don't trip and trip fall hurt their ankle <laughs> uh, we've even had a case where somebody dropped stuff and we use my flashlight to find you know what they that kind of thing so it's nice to have a little one in your pocket yes yeah so this next video clip is you'll see how marianne got down out of the dark tower using this little camera so watch this <laughs> thing that you you had that yeah and I'm not I'm not sure just how good the footage really is because literally I was using it as a light so I wasn't really pointing at anything specific I was just like what can I see what can I see <laughs> yeah yeah so anyways if you go to the uh, web page this is for the lighthouse right yes um, st. Augustine staugustinelighthouse.com and you look at the events you'll see the dark of the moon is there there's a little video here to kind of put you in the mood so to speak <laughs> okay it tells you about the tour and you can purchase tickets on here You've got some coupons <laughs> okay, okay you want to talk about the prices Sure. So they, again, have three different levels. They have the ghost tour, which is basically what we went on. Okay, the ghost tour. That's $25 per person. Uh, now, this is going to get you the, the ghost stories and, you know, the history of the building, that kind of stuff. And then up into the lighthouse and then roam the grounds for whatever time you want. They pretty much said, stay however long you want, just turn in the K2s. <laughs> and then uh, the investigation would be pretty much no no stories and things like that, but just literally the investigation. Uh, and I'm going to assume that through that investigation, we didn't do that part, um, that you'd be able to go into the keeper's house and the lighthouse. That is $50 per person. It's Again, still not bad pricing at all. Compared to other places, it's very reasonable. Yes. And then there's the private tours, which we have absolutely no idea how much they so cost. So that was $50 per person? So I would bet that the private tours was $500. Yes. 
I, I'm up gonna to guess. 10 people. I'm gonna yeah. guess probably. That's how normally these places, you, you know. But again, we have it. not we have not tried to book a private tour no. with them because we have not been back. It, I'm making that assumption. But five hundred yeah. dollars for up to ten people, again, is not that bad. Right. It's not that bad compared to some other places. I'm not gonna tell you the prices at Mansfield. <laughs> Well, not in this video. <laughs> no, not in this video. But yeah, so even even still, I'm sure that they have different things. Like depending on what you want to do, they might have different pricing as yeah. well. But again, that's something that you have to contact them directly for. Anything else you'd like to add to this video? I just, I really enjoyed it and the idea that you were able to roam around and pretty much do whatever you wanted while you were there. Oh, man, can you imagine going back and knowing the ghost stories and the folklore and... <gasps> and how to, how to question the ghosts and things. And the, the Where groups were and look? Yeah, the groups weren't very bad either, the, like being size wise no um, for the investigation they do have like a limit but for the just the tour they really don't but even still there was like a dozen of us there yeah and it wasn't bad. you know you have the whole property and, and so we once were there they, in July so yes yeah that's peak season so. right and once they you know go through all the tour with you and then they turn you loose people scatter some mm -hmm. people leave like immediately after some people decided to stay up in the lighthouse some people decided to you know roam just around in the garden areas so it's you you really do get to be pretty much by yourself yeah. a lot a lot less contamination than we've had in a lot of other tours that's right all right folks we're gonna wrap it up so until next time thanks for watching and happy hunting let us know if you like this video by hitting that thumbs up also if you'd like to see more videos from us in the future support our channel by hitting that subscribe button Ding in that bell so you get notified the next time there's a video from Panic D Video. Thanks for watching. Happy hunting. <laughs>